sorry. Oh. I want to play. I can't. Oh. Ah, ah, can't do it. Look, Mom, no hands. <laughs> great time out there on the playground. Hey you guys, welcome back to Kids Connection. It's so good to see you and it's so good to see you, Miss Laura. I'm so glad I wore my workout clothes. I know, I wore our tennis shoes today, yay. All right, so today is the last Sunday of April, April 26th, and we have spent all month talking about how Jesus changed everything. He turned everything upside down. Yeah upside down, and he did it with what, Miss Laura? Humility. Humility. Can you tell us what yeah. is humility? I had to get a drink of water. I know, so I know, it's thirsty. Tired. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> humility is putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. Hmm. So this month, we've been thinking about ways where we can show humility to those around us. So last week, I suggested that we use the acronym WWJD. What would Jesus do? What would Jesus do to help us in our decision making? So did you have a time this past week where you were like, I don't know what to do? And you thought, hmm, what would Jesus do? If Jesus were standing behind me, what would he want me to do? Yes, I do. Okay. I take Winnie for walks. Winston, oh, you know, Winston. Your puppy dog. dog, yeah. I take him for walks every day. Well, Winston went and pooped in someone's yard. Yeah, that's what dogs do. You know? Yeah. But I had a bag with me, and I picked up that poop in a bag, and I carried it, and I put it in my trash can when I got home, so that there wasn't poop in their yards. What would have happened if you left it there? Well, they might have stepped in it. Yeah. Ooh, no one likes to step in dog poop. No. Nope. No. I don't like to step in dog yeah. poop. Yeah. What would Jesus do? Kind of squishy. Pick up your dog poop. Yeah, yes. Jesus would pick up dog food, for sure. <laughs> for sure, <laughs> I Jesus think so. Would. <laughs> okay, so I had one, I was at the grocery store this week, I had my mask on, had my gloves on, got my groceries in my car, and I was putting my cart back in the carousel, and there were a couple of carts sitting out in the parking lot, like where the cars are supposed to go, and I was walking by them, and I thought, I could just put my cart up and go, or... What would Jesus do? I could go get those carts too, attach them all, and put them all in the carousel. Yes. Yep. And that's what I did. And I thought, what would be the best thing to do to help people put the carts, help everybody else? Yes, that's what I did. So Jesus would pick up poop and cart wrangle. That's right. There you go. <laughs> so I hope there's something that um, happened to you this week where you stopped and thought, hmm, what would Jesus do? And I hope you made the right choice that was helpful to somebody and not hurtful. Okay, mm. so it's time to talk about our scripture for this month is from Philippians chapter 2, verse 3. Miss Laura, will you please remind us? of the scripture. For the fourth time, <laughs> with the fourth and okay, final okay, time. Okay, wait, 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 before you say it, I want everybody to turn around. Don't look at the TV screen, do it, turn around, and see if you can say it without looking at the words. All right, Miss Lara, go for it. All right. Here we go. Don't do anything only to get ahead. Don't do it because you are proud. Instead, be humble, value others more than yourselves. Philippians 2, 3, Nerf! All right, did you guys do it? Did you remember it? I hope you did. We've been talking about it every week. Okay, so if you listened last week, and I'm sure you did, you heard me tell you who wrote the book of Philippians. Do you remember who it was? John. Four letters, starts Matt. with a P. Mark. Saul. Getting close. Ringo. <laughs> it was the Apostle Paul, P-A-U-L, Paul. Paul wrote Philippians. And if you remember, he wrote a, not a text, not a smoke signal. He wrote a letter to a church that he started in, huh? Philippi. I Philippi. almost said Philippi. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, oh, that would be a yummy pie. <laughs> to Philippi. 
and he couldn't get to them and so he wrote a letter and he explained what it's like to be humble because he was encouraging them because they were a new church getting started so mm, philippi the Phil philippines <laughs> philippians the book was written by paul and it was written to a church in philippi see guys learn stuff every time okay so today we have a continuation of a story. Bum, bum, bum. So, Jesus died. He rose from the grave. And now what happened? So, look at the picture that's on your screen. I want you to get really close to it. Look in there and how many people do you see? How many people do you think's on there? Not one, not two, three. You gotta roll your tongues. Three people are in that picture. Where are they going? What are they doing? I don't know. Okay, this story is from the book of Luke, chapter 24, verses 13 through 35. So if you wanna read about it, you can go to Luke, chapter 24, verse 13 to 35. But here's what I want you to do now. To hear the story, you're gonna go back to that email. You're gonna click the second link where you're gonna have the music video and the Bible story that explains that picture. And when you get finished, Come back to this email for the third link and we'll wrap it up. All right, we'll see you in just a second. I can't wait to see the story. See you in a minute. Bye.